Do you get nervous before you spar? Do you struggle to take what you're doing outside of the ring on the heavy bag into the ring, into a sparring session? After a sparring session, do you ever feel like, I'm actually better than that, but I just can't perform in the ring? Well, if any of them things apply to you, this video is definitely for you, where I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks that help me have success in boxing that will help you the very next time you go to spar. And even though I had 106 fights, I won an Olympic medal, I still did have some nerves when I was going into sparring sessions. But when I did these things that I'm gonna tell you, it really helped control that. Now, have you ever noticed that you can do six rounds, eight rounds on a heavy bag, but when you get into the ring, after two rounds, you're really tired and you're thinking, why am I like this? I'm unfit. Well, that probably comes down to your breathing. It's very easy for us to forget about breathing when we're in the ring and someone's throwing punches at us. And also to forget about your breathing when you're throwing punches at someone else. So this is a big thing that you've got to think about every time before you get into the ring is when you're not throwing punches, you're totally relaxed. When you are throwing punches, you're exhaling with them. <laughs> Holding your breath and throwing a punch doesn't get more power in it. It gets less power in it. It gets less speed in it. So when you are exhaling with your punches, you're not only going to save a lot of energy, but you're also going to be able to punch faster and harder. Now, I understand when you're in there, there's a lot to think about. You've got to think about throwing punches at landing. You've got to think about the punches that's coming at you, how to get out of the way of them. You've got to think about your opponent's footwork, his movement. You've got to think about your own footwork. There's a lot to think about. And because we breathe every day without thinking about it, we feel forget about that. Now, when you get in there, I want you to focus on that one thing, which is breathing and everything else will follow. And keep doing this to get into the habit. We've got to think about things and do it. Think about it, do it. Think about it, do it until we can do it without even having to think about it and it'll come natural to you. And once it becomes natural to you without thinking about it, you'll be able to last longer in the ring, which then you'll be able to focus on transferring the things you're doing outside of the ring into the ring. Now, if you feel like you're in with someone who's hitting you too much, you might have a great job and you just can't get out of the way of this bloody job. What I want you to do next time you spar with this person is just think about defending that job. If your focus is on someone's job, there's way less chance they've been able to hit you with it. And then once you've started defending that jab, which you will do because now you're thinking about it, then you can start adding the counter punches. Now, depending on you and your ability, you might be able to do this within one round where, yes, you fought about the defense, you're defending the jab, you're defending the jab, now it's bop, bop, defend, come back. Or it might take a number of sessions for you to be able to defend the jab, then come back with counters. But the first thing is thinking about that defense. Now, this one can be difficult depending on what gym you're at and how open-minded your coach is, your sport partner is you should actually send your coach this video and ask him what he thinks about this point what I'm about to see right now and that is when you spar working on technical things fast and light for example of some great technical sparring rounds what you could do for the first half of the round all you're going to work on is counter punching so your, your sparring partner he's leading off you're only allowed to counter punch for the second half of the round you switch up so now he's counter punching, you're leading off. And now for the next round, you do the same again, but this time you're allowed to counter the counter punch. But working fast and light, working on learning rather than heavy, hard sparring. Another thing that you could do, what we used to do training for the Olympics is all you're gonna do in the sparring round is throw lead hands only to the head, to the body, hooks, but that's all you're going to throw. Now, with this, you can really focus on that defense that I was talking about because you know which hand he's going to throw, but as well, it's going to give you the chance to be able to improve your lead hand. And there's so many different things that you could do on technical sparring. Now, the next thing is hard sparring. I'm not a fan of hard sparring. I think it's pretty stupid. Now, there is a time and a place for it if you're training for a fight. Yes, you need to have a few hard spars in there, but you shouldn't be hard sparring all the time. If you're leaving your sparring sessions with a headache every single session, then you've been sparring too hard. That's ridiculous. It's going to cause long-term damage, which is stupid. And if your coach is telling you to hard spar all the time, I would honestly consider moving coach and moving gym. Because yeah, right now you're living in the moment, you're doing boxing training, which is great, but you've got a big, long life left after this, and you don't want to be slurring your words. Having memory problems and having to try to work on your brain down the line, which I know a lot of people doing that now, and honestly, it's not worth it. Now, another thing when you're in there, you might be thinking, why can I not land this overcut hook two pivot off jab jab two? It's working perfectly on the mitts. Well, there's a reason why. That sort of combination is ridiculously hard to land unless you spawn someone who's just covering up like that and then you're going to do it. You know, but when you're in there with someone who's coming back at you, yeah, it's going to be very difficult to work them longer combinations that like you might be doing on the mitts. Instead, 
Focus on the basics. Focus on landing that great job. Focus on landing that one, two. Focus on feeling to the head, going to the body. The basics of boxing is what wins you fights, what wins you rounds in sparring, what helps you get better. And if you look at any great fighter from the past to the present, they've all got their basic fundamentals down. But there is a lot of people trying and get all fancy in the ring, dropping their hands down, doing some Roy Jones stuff where you got your hands behind your back and then throw... Nah, I mean, you can try it if you want to try it. You can learn the hard way, but it's going to be very difficult. Now, I'm going to tell you about the last tip, which is probably the most important thing on this video that will help you in sparring or even in fights. Before I do, I just want to see it. Do you like this T-shirt? This has got boxing backwards, as you can see. But when you're looking in the mirror and you're shadow boxing, it's reversed and boxing is forwards. This is my favorite T-shirt. It's very soft and it's available to you as well. The link is below. If you want to support this channel and show the world, that you love unboxing, get one of these t-shirts. Now the last tip I want to leave you with, which is a massive one, is record your sparring session, then watch your back, and then see where you're going wrong. How is this guy landing his jab? How is he landing that hook to the body? Why are you getting caught every time you come out the clinch? Now I want you to write down them things where you're going wrong. There might be four different things. Now what I want you to do is when you're going to the gym, when you're working on the heavy bag, concentrate on just one of them four problems for a full round on the bag. Get it into your brain, get into these good habits. Now it's important that you do it individually each round rather than trying to do it all together in one round because you're gonna lose focus and you're gonna forget one bad habit when you're trying to focus on the other one, but one at a time. This way it'll really help you get out of them bad habits. So these tips were for if you're a regular sparer, but if you're brand new to sparring, watch this video next where I'll give you 10 great tips for people who's new to sparring. Click here and watch this video next.